Hey, yeah. So today I want to talk to you about a cool new Squarespace feature. Um, this is particularly great if you have an online shop or if you have been, well, really, if you have an online shop, but um, it's to help you get more social proof around your products and to help you generate some reviews and some feedback from your clients as well. So I'll show you about this. If you go into the commerce tab, which is where all of your fun shop products and shop um, settings live, and you can see here it says product reviews new. And so if you click here and you can see that you can turn on to request reviews and you can customize this email. So it says customers will get an automated email 14 days after their order is marked as fulfilled. You can customize this email in the customer notifications. And then you can say you can get notified whether or not you want notified when you get reviews. You can decide if you want to see product reviews, store reviews, so your whole shop or both. You can request reviews. You can display requested reviews or just automatic reviews. And then if you want, you can import reviews from Etsy. So I want to show you how to do that really quick. So let's go ahead and import. I'm going to move me here again and hit login and import. And so I'm already signed in, so it's going to sign. But if we wanted to sign in to someone else, you can. And it's telling you exactly what it's going to do. You're going to get connect your account. It's going to be able to see all of your checkout and payment and all these listings and everything. So we're going to go ahead and hit grant access. I don't have an Etsy store, but I have an Etsy account. So this is just going to say your reviews didn't import properly. And that's because I don't have any reviews, but if I did, then they would import and they would be available in, um, in here. So it's going to, there we go. And so once you have imported reviews successfully, you can toggle that off and on and allow for your Etsy reviews to come in. The nice thing is once you've done that, you'll be able to see, and I'll show you here in a second, um, I don't have any reviews yet because I've just turned this on in my own shop, but once you have reviews, they will show up. This is kind of how the email will look at first, and I'll show you how to edit this, but it will say, how did we, how did we do? And you can ask them to rewrite a review. And then the reviews will show up in your shop. So if we go to my template shop and in my products here, so I've got this set up a little differently, but if I'm actually in the e-commerce shop, the reviews will show up down here. Oops, just a second. I'm not even in there yet. My shop set up a little bit differently. So if when you're actually in the product, reviews will show up down here. And again, you can set up how they display. If you just want product and store reviews, you can change a little bit about how they work. And you can only do this, by the way, on commerce plan. So basic or the advanced commerce plan, but you have to have be on a commerce plan. And so I'm going to pop this whole thing in here, but you need to be on, um, be on one of these plans. And you can't delete reviews. It's a transparency thing. Can customers delete them? Unfortunately not. Um, and right now you can't respond directly to reviews, but you can email people, right? Um, there's a time limit, so they can only do it within 120 days. The product must still be an active product in your shop. And... Um, Reviews, if people buy a bundle of your digital products, they will only receive the one email, unfortunately. So that's pretty much that. Um, now let's, let me show you how to go in and edit this email. So if we go back and you can see to customize this email. And so this, if you wanted to find it directly, go customer in, in commerce, go to customer notifications. And then if you go to customer engagement, and you can see you've got abandoned cart emails, waitlist, and product review. Now you can also edit the global styles. So you can see mine are already set up so that it's got the burgundy buttons and my logo and everything kind of like how I like it. So you can edit those in here um, and edit all of that here. But then after you've done that and you have your global styles set, all of your other emails will kind of fall in line. 
you want to change just this product reviews request, now you can see it's in my global styles. Go ahead and you can do it. So we don't want to, maybe you don't want it to say, how did we do? Maybe it's just you. How did I do? And then it'll say customer first name. Thank you for shopping. I'm, I hope you're happy with your order. Blah, blah, blah. Now remember, keep this fairly general because this is a template. It will fit into all of your products. But you can say, you can make this a little more in your brand voice. You can make this a little more in your brand style. Um, so this is a little bit more formal than my brand voice, so I'd probably tidy it up a little bit that way. And then it would show the product that they purchased here, and then they can go ahead and write that review. So it makes it really easy for you to be able to customize that. Um, and I'm just going to change that again because I am an I. I don't. There we go. So I'm going to go ahead and save that. Go ahead and hit save again. And that will publish the changes. So going forward, when that email gets sent out, it will be that way. You can also change the subject line here. So you can say rate your order. And I want to change that to review your order. So because rating sounds a bit odd for my, the way my products work. And that's sort of how that works. Um, it makes it super duper easy. And I hope that helps. Um, I will find a couple of good examples here and tack it on um, of good examples of shops that are using this feature. So let's go ahead and do that. All right, so I've pulled up some sites and I want you to see kind of how this works in practice because I don't have them on my site yet. So here's one, you can see the product and it says there's three reviews. And if you scroll down, you can see each of the reviews, the average rating, when it was posted, how many stars it got, a little bit about, about it here. And you can do that with any of the products. So if we were to go into the shop, they only really have this one product, but it's very well rated, obviously. And so there's that. Let's take a look at another one. So you can see they have yarn here and they've got, it doesn't really show up. They've set it so it doesn't really show up on the whole shop. So you can do, remember you can change that back and forth, but if you go to that wool we were just on, so this is, you can see it says two reviews here, and if you scroll down, then you've got the two reviews, the product reviews, and then this is the difference between product reviews, which we've, remember you can set it to only show up as product reviews or store reviews too. So this is, this one didn't bother writing in description, but you can see here and when they were posted, and then here, you can see how many store reviews they have, and there's loads of them. So this is really great social proof to be able to show that you are good at what you do and what you offer. Let's take a look at this third one here. This is a tea shop, and you can see that all these reviews are listed here, and you've got four product reviews, and again, listed where you can see exactly when they were left, um, a little bit about why they liked this tea, and then there's also 13 store reviews, and you can see which product they purchased. So if we were to go to the travel collection, you can see the reviews on that and there's two. And look how lovely that looks. And so it's really, really good to be able to offer these reviews for people and prove to them that other people like your product. It's so, so important. So if you have any questions, go ahead and pop them in the comments of the video and I will answer them.